Well, it looks like Mexico will have a new leader very soon, as we're hearing that Juan Carlos Osorio will not be signing a new deal with L3. Let's go out to Max Bretas for this one. Max, just your quick reaction on this one. Well, it's certainly the ball in the court of Juan Carlos Osorio because the love, even after they failed to reach El Quinto Partido, the quarterfinals in the World Cup, everyone's saying they wanted Osorio back in Mexico. Players loved him. Uh, officials, certainly, as far as Mexico goes, it's never going to be perfect. By and large, we're, as, as tough as it was for him in the lead-up, we're kind of on board. So this was a ball is in the court of Juan Carlos Osorio, and then he moved away from it all. So it's surprising to hear that because, uh, you know, Mexico wants you. They're definitely going to get him. But they show how, how his ticket, how his number has been going up on the world stage. And if you look back, I think at the World Cup, even though they were disappointing, that was a good World Cup for Mexico. They beat Germany. They got through. They just had the disappointing result against the Swedes, and that was that. I agree with you. I think he definitely has a lot to be proud of, but he did have a lot of headaches on the way there. But my question is now, Max, does this pave the way for Osorio to possibly become the next coach of the U.S.? Well, a lot has been made about the connections between Osorio and American soccer from his humble beginnings here to his time, certainly most notably with the, the Metro Stars or the Red Bulls, I should say. And it seems like a good fit. And I think for U.S. soccer, I mean, who do you go? There's three really good American candidates that I think I would be happy to see all get a sniff here in Burr Halter, Greg Balder of the Columbus Crew, obviously Peter Vermes of Sporting Kansas City, and Greg Vanny of Toronto FC, who's with Toronto, who is struggling right now, but was the champions of MLS. After that, if you want to cast a bigger net, who? Who could it be? I mean, you're kind of, kind of going out there and putting a reputation on and the known quantity to me right now for U.S. soccer seems like the smart move if you're them and Ernie Stewart and whoever you decide to go. So if you want a sexier pick than someone in Major League Soccer, you have it all in a bow tie in Juan Carlos Osorio and sweetening the pot. He just moved away from Mexico, turned them away, and now you can pounce on that. So outside of a few sexy candidates maybe from Europe or South America, I think Juan Carlos Osorio is going to have to get a long, long look here, and I wouldn't be surprised in the least if we get an announcement that he will be the, co the head coach of U.S. soccer. Well, after Mexico lost to Brazil at the World Cup, I know I had a little bit of a talk with Brian McBride, and he said right now for U.S. soccer, with all due respect to international coaches, he just likes to see it Keep to, he likes to see them keep it local, somebody who understands the U.S. grassroots program from the very basic level straight up to the top. Are, are you of that view, Max? Uh, not necessarily, but I think you're putting yourself in a real precarious spot if you go out and say you got someone like Tata Martino of Atlanta United. You know, this is someone you're bringing in, or Jorge Sampaoli, who has been mentioned. I like both those candidates, but you're putting yourself out there. If they don't hit the spots, okay. If an American coach doesn't do it or if Osorio doesn't do it, I don't think you get that pushback or that criticism as much. There's so many parts, and I, I, I would... I would bow down to Brian McBride's uh, expertise here and how he knows the operation of U.S. soccer. There are so many comfort zones that I think U.S. soccer has has gravitated towards, and it served them well over the years. Uh, the one thing is maybe some of their, their coaching candidates were a little bit beyond, a little bit older in the tooth, but now you get someone young and exciting, certainly in the three American candidates, or Osorio, who's a little bit above there, but these are guys with good candidates. So if you have guys like that that you're happy with, why go elsewhere I, I i would like them to look but i don't think there's enough reason for them to really throw out a big net and search in that in that department gentlemen what do you guys think of this uh in, in terms of sorio i think it's just uh too soon um given the history between between mexico mexico mexico's national team and, and the u.s men's national team um i i just feel that short a jump and, and as much as i understand and respect osorio's um own history in U.S. soccer, I just think it's a little too soon. As far as who comes next for, for the U.S. men's national team, I'm, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm neither here nor there. I think, the, the, I think that program does need somebody who wants to coach first. I think at Bruce Arena, you had somebody who was a, a more man manager, but given the, the youth you expect to make up the nucleus of, of this team, certainly over the next cycle, it has to be somebody who's on the training ground coaching first and foremost. If he wants the job, give him it. Give him it Ooh. tomorrow. <laughs> Just Listen, like that. <laughs> this is, this is, this is a, an unusual situation. Uh, you look at the furor over the US not qualifying. 
Now you've got a chance to get a guy who knows the American player inside out. He knows CONCACAF inside out. He's shown what he can do with Mexico. He made them, he made them play attacking football. This, is, this guy has all the credentials that, in my opinion, opinion, the US should snap his hand off and give him a job tomorrow. All right, thanks so much, guys. We're going to let uh, Max Alexis, go into I, the... Alexis, I will... Go on, Max. Sorry, Alexis, I would add, too, that he's, this, next, this, this next cycle, he is going to be coaching a young, for, based on all accounts, a young U.S. team. It's going to be guys that are growing into the job. And I don't know if Osorio is the best for that. I would imagine he is. He did that with certain young Mexican players. But that's something that they really need a coach to be very uh, adept at because that young players who need guidance, that's going to be the team that's going to be probably on the field in 2022.